Welcome to the live interactive session for the course Surface Water Hydrology being taken by Professor Dr. Rajiv Maithi of the Department of Civil Engineering IIT Kharagpur. I am the teaching assistant Aman Srivastava and today in this session we are going to solve some numerical problems on hydrologic design part 1. In this session we will be solving some numerical problems on the topics namely safety margin estimation, reliability estimation, hidden period estimation, standard error estimation and Gumbel method application. So let us start solving uh, the first problem on safety margin estimation. Let me read the problem. The hydrologically estimated design flood for a project is 10,000 cumac, that is meter cube per second. If the factor of safety was considered as 3.5 for the design, calculate the safety margin. So let us estimate the safety margin given that the design flood is 10,000 meter cube per second and the factor of safety is 3.5. So using this information, let us see how we can actually find out the actual design flood for that purpose we need to use this formula actual design flood QA is equal to QE that is the estimated one which is provided in the problem into factor of safety FS which is nothing but 10,000 to 3.5 which comes out as 35,000 meter cube per second is the actual design flood now we need to find out the safety margin for QA so how to find out that safety margin it is QA minus QE the difference between both of them so QA just now we are estimated 35,000 and QE is what is given the problem 10,000 the difference between the two provides 25,000 meter cube per second is nothing but the safety margin of the design flood I hope you were able to understand uh, the, the, the application of this formula in order to find out the safety margin moving ahead let's solve second problem on reliability estimation here is the problem a factory is proposed to be located within the extent of the 50 year flood plain of a river. If the design life of the factory is 50 years, what is the reliability that it will not be flooded during its design life? So here the two elements has been provided that is the 50 year flood plain and the design life is also given which is 50 years. So let's see how we can utilize this two information to estimate the reliability. So here n 50 years is the life of the of the given uh, structure and we need to find out the reliability of that structure using this formula which is on your screen re is equal to 1 minus 1 by t power n where t is the written period and n is the lifetime of the structure so substituting this value both are 50 basically so 1 minus 1 by 50 power 50 it yields 0 0.364 is the reliability of uh, the, 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 the location that it will not be flooded during its design life. So this is how we are actually directly substituting the, prob the, the, the elements which are provided in the problem uh, in the equation to get the reliability. Now let us solve another problem to estimate the return period. A bridge has an expected life of 50 years. In order to ensure a maximum risk of 8.01% approximately, what design return period should be adopted in the design? So life spent that is n 50 years is provided and maximum risk is also provided the percentage maximum risk is given that is 8.01 and we need to find out the design written period for such a design. So here we will be using the equation for the acceptable risk r that is 1 minus 1 minus 1 by t power n. So you can see that it is basically 1 minus reliability is defined as risk. So the risk R percentage is given, it is 8.01% which can be written as 0 0.0801 1 minus 1 by T, T is the return period that we need to find out which is the unknown and power 50 is nothing but the lifetime of the, of the structure. Solving this we get 599.372 and it is equivalent to 600 years is uh, the, the, the return period that should be adopted for the given case. Let us solve another problem where we will be estimating the standard error. So a 12 meter wide rectangular channel has a bed slope of 1%. The flow depth in the channel is estimated as 5 meter from the observed discharge value using Manning's equation. If the coefficients of variation of the flow estimate and the roughness estimate are 45% and 25% respectively, considering the variation in depth is independent of the discharge and roughness evaluate the standard error in the estimate of the flow depth so the objective is to find out the error that may have accumulated while estimating the flow depth 
for which the various dimensions and the elements is provided in the problem that is a rectangular channel is given having the width 12 meter and depth is also provided which is 5 meter and it mentions that the coefficient of variation of the flow estimate uh, is 45 percent and the coefficient of variation of the roughness is 25 percent so if this is the variations uh, for this given variations how the standard error uh, will accumulate or will change etc that is what we need to evaluate in this problem so first of all let us deduce what is what are the given elements from the problem so here the coefficient of variation for flow estimate and roughness estimate is provided cvq 0.5 and cvn as 0.2 also the width and depth of the channel is provided that is 15 meter and 3 meter respectively now let us find out the square of standard error in the estimate of the flow depth for which there is a direct equation which is which you can see on your screen sy square is equal to cv square plus cvn square divided by 2 by 3r dr upon dy plus 1 by 8 da upon dy whole square here in the numerator cvq square plus cvn square that we know because cvq value and cvn value is already provided in the problem so 0 0.5 0 0.45 square plus 0.25 square yields 0.265 so this is the value of the numerator while how to estimate the denominator for which uh, since it is a rectangular channel so we can uh, write the, the denominator as 5 times width of the channel plus 6 times depth of the channel divided by 3 times depth of the channel b plus 2y this is the, uh, the, the, the another version of the denominator for rectangular channel so in this equation we will be substituting the value of width of the rectangular channel and the depth and by solving this we get 0 0.2727 as the denominator for the square of standard error so now we both now we know both the numerator and denominator and uh, using that we can actually estimate the square of standard error so uh, and, and and since uh, we will be getting square of a standard error in the step 2 so uh, now if we find the standard error that means we need to underroot the sy square so here uh, by substituting the value of numerator and denominator we obtained the square of standard error as 3.6527 and the underroot which is which will yield standard error will yield 1.887 which is the final response so this is the standard error that will be that will remain uh, in, in in this case uh, where we were provided with coefficient of variation for flow depth and other details now let us solve the last problem of this series where we will be seeing the gumball method application let me read the problem the mean and standard deviation of 30 year flood data at a point on a river is determined as 1200 meter cube per second and 500 meter cube per second respectively what would be the approximate design discharge for a hydraulic structure to provide 85 percent assurance that a structure would not fail in the next 100 years. Use Gumbel's method. The value of the mean and standard deviation of the reduced variate for n equal to 30 are 0.45 and 1 respectively. So, if we look carefully, uh, here the uh, mean uh, and standard deviation around x is provided at 1200 meter cube per second and 500 meter cube per second respectively. Also, the reduced variate, that means uh, like the way we have been solving across this series of uh, problem solving sessions uh, this is why uh, which is the reduced variate and then uh, the, the value of uh, the, the the mean and standard deviation is also provided which is 0.45 and 1 respectively also they have provided the assurance of 85 percent and the written period is also given in the problem that is 100 years so let us utilize this information uh, to to actually uh, to, to remind the approximate design discharge for this hydraulic structure so let's start with step one where we will be finding the design return period t and for which we will be using the reliability equation 1 minus 1 by t power n because assurance is nothing but it's the reliability of the structure so here the reliability or assurance was given in the problem which is 85 percent so substituting that as 0 0.85 and the lifetime of the uh, structure is also provided which is 100 years so substituting this value the only unknown is the return period t which is obtained as 615 years so uh, we will take this 615.8 as 616 which is very close so let's find the reduced variate yt for 616 years return period 
So how to find out the reduced finite? So here is the standard equation y t is equal to minus ln uh, and under bracket ln t minus t minus 1 where t is the written period and which we have taken at 616 divided by 616 minus 1 and solving this we get the reduced variate y t for uh, this written period as 6.4224. I hope you were able to follow. This was a very straightforward substitution of uh, the given uh, value that is uh, the written period in the equation. In the step 3, now we will be uh, interested to find out the frequency factor k. So how to find out k? This is the equation to be used by t minus y bar upon sy and, and, and y bar and sy are the reduced variates of y which is already given the problem which is 0.45 and 1 respectively. So k value is obtained as 5.9724. In the next step, we will be finding the dis descent discharge for which this entire problem uh, was given to us. So how to find out the descent discharge? So for that purpose, we have the xt is equal to x bar plus k as x. So here you see x bar and as x is already provided in the problem, which is the mean and standard deviation. And, and, and what is unknown here is the xt that we are interested to find out, which is the design discharge. So substituting these values 1200 plus and k value that we have just now obtained in step three. 5.9724 into 500 is what was already given in the problem. Solving this and we obtained the XT which is the design discharge as 4200 meter cube per second. I hope uh, you were able to follow uh, each of the steps that has been provided here and these steps are uh, like making us comfortably arrive at the final design discharge value for this problem. So with this uh, we came to the end of the today's session and today we actually focused on solving different types of problems on hydrologic design namely safety margin estimation reliability estimation written period estimation standard estimation as well as gumball method application so stay tuned for more such videos on surface water hydrology thank you